morning sa lahat ng EC family here in the Philippines and abroad. I'm your Senior International Trainer for Business and Fitness as well, Ariel De Guzman. Andito ako sa inyo ngayon today para mag-share sa inyo ng mga health and fitness tips, how to get past with this crisis nowadays. Actually, I don't call this as a crisis. This is actually an opportunity to do so, so many things. At ngayong pong araw na to, pag-usapan natin yung mga workout na gagawin ninyo at the comfort of your home. Since you cannot go outside and use the fitness centers, you can tie the comfort of your house. Oh, my shirt? Tingnan ko muna to sa favorite na superhero ko, Superman. Para kayo lahat ay maging super positive. So, pag-usapan natin ang workout na pwede nyo gawin at the comfort of your house. Okay? Dito, kailangan mo lang gamitin is your own body weight, you know, and some improvised equipment na ipapakita ko sa inyo. Pag-usapan na muna natin yung mga terms para hindi kayo malito. Let's talk about the words sets, reps, or repetitions and sets. Ano yung set? Set is how many times you will do a particular exercise. Yung repetition naman is the counting. So pag sinabi natin 10 repetitions, 15 repetitions, you'll be counting from 1 to 10 to 15 or even as high as 20 to 25 repetitions. Pag sinabi naman natin sets, uulitin mo yan in a few times. So you'll do one set, two set, on the third set, or even up to five sets. Okay, gaano katagal ang rest interval between sets? It's going to vary depending on the exercises. So kung mag-workout kayo ng isang particular exercise, I suggest resting only between 1 minute to 2 minutes. Ibari niyo. Yung iba can rest up to a minute and a half. Okay? So ngayon, gagawin natin yung set A na workout. Okay? I will be doing segments of doing set A, set B, and set C workouts. Ano ba ang laman ng set A, set B, and C? Well, we will be doing variety of movements. I will be limiting your basic exercises to only four, not counting the warm-ups. Okay? So, sa exercise A, we will be doing a push, a pull, and something for the legs and for your waist exercise. Okay? Pagka nakalimutan nyo, i-rewind nyo na lang, ha? Alright, so how do we start the workout? Kailangan muna tayong mag-warm up para magkaroon muna ng circulation ng katawan natin. Alright, my, my favorite warm-up exercises is something that would, uh, you know, make the overall uh, blood flow sa katawan natin starting from the waist. So, so I will start with the waist bend, which I will be doing left and right. Hold here, and then swing your body left, right. So going left and right is one, is one rep. So left, right, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Okay? So pwede kayo umabot ng 15 repetitions or 20 repetitions. You can do one set or two sets. After that, I will do the waist bend. Waist bend something that, that uh, warms up the lower back. So from here, so you bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you can do as many as 10, 15, or 20 repetitions. Again, you can do this from one or two sets. After that, I will do my direct movement for the shoulders kasi gagamitin ko yung shoulder joints ko. So I will do basically the imaginary pushing exercise. So I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, you can go as, as high as 15 or 20 repetitions, one or two sets. After that, I will do some imaginary pressing exercise also, going like this. Two, three, four, five. After that, I will do some shoulder rotations like this. I will go like this. Rotate, rotate, and then on the opposite direction, and then warm a little bit. Pag uminginit na, you can do some stretches. Do some arm stretch, like this on the left. On the right, do some tricep stretches, like this. Hold it, and then on the other side. You can stretch your neck, go like this, and like that. 
Okay? Now, let's start with the pressing or pushing exercise. My favorite warm-up before doing the basic pushing is to do some warm pushing on the wall. Ito ay advisable din sa mga beginners like, uh, you know, children, women, older people. Just hold on the wall like this and do a push-up movement like this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. Okay? You can make one or two sets. Alright. That is the warm-up. Kung talagang beginner pa lang kayo and you've never done a push-up movement, just do your pushing exercise at the wall. Kung magpo-progress kayo, you can do it on your table or dun sa nababo ninyo near the faucet area and do your pushing exercise. Now, if you get a little bit stronger, you can go now on the floor and do the basic push-up exercise. Okay. If you cannot do the regular push-ups, I suggest use your knees on the floor. Okay? Shoulders apart. Yung hands ninyo. And then, by putting your knees here, do your push-ups. One. Two. Inhale down. Exhale up. We call that as the supported push-up or the women's push-ups. Now, kung kayo po ay malakas na, then you can try the regular push-ups with your knees up already. How do we do it? Same distance here with your hands. Knees up. And push-up. Inhale down. One, two, four, six, eight, 10. Vary your repetitions between 10 to 20 repetitions. If you can go as high as 25, then you may start to progress to a more challenging one. Now, sa mga malalakas mag push-ups, okay, I would suggest that you do the inclined push-ups. So, find a chair, anything higher, and elevate your feet. your feet here, regular, and do your push-ups. One, two, four, six, eight. How many repetitions? That's up to you. Kung malakas kayo, you can go 10, 15, as high as 20 to 25. So that is your set A pushing exercise. Alright? Now, we go now to the pulling movement. Okay? When you do your push, mind you, you're using your chest, your front shoulders, and the triceps. When you do the opposite movement of pull, you're using the back, the trapezius, okay, the posterior shoulders part, and of course, the biceps. Kaya kailangan meron tayo pulling exercise. So this is my basic equipment. Ta -da! I don't know how you call this. Pero this is where we get our water every day. Okay? The good thing about this container is you can put more water, take off the water, and you can choose the weight. So, I will just hold this like this, start with the lightweight, hold something higher, and then pull. Exhale the way up. After doing 10 or 15 reps, go on the other side. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. If you don't have this jug here, it's very easy. Use a suitcase. I have a suitcase here. Okay, it's empty. You can put a lot of stuff inside. Gloves, 
I would suggest using your books, okay? Put it inside. Sometimes I would use that uh, little bag of rice. Put it inside and use it as a rowing movement. I call this movement as the bend over rows, okay? Bend again and pull. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Do first on the left side and then on the right. I use the left first because left is my weak side. And stronger part is right, so I will do that on the next. After that, I rest for about a minute and a half or maybe about a minute. Maximum rest score is about a minute and 45. How many sets? It depends. Kung beginner kayo, start muna with three sets. Pag lumalakas na kayo, go to four or five sets the most. Okay? That is my pulling exercise. Well, let's go to the legs. What is the basic movement for the legs? Alright? The basic is the body squats. Use your own body weight. You can go from 10 repetitions. You can develop to 12, 15 to 20 repetitions. Hold your hands here and lower your weight. Inhale down. Exhale. Exhale. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The position of the feet should be normal. Not too wide, not too close. Gagawin natin yan sa variations natin on my next segment. Right now, just do it. Just shoulder distance, okay? And squat down. How many sets? Do three to five sets. Start with three sets. Sa mga beginners, magsimula mo na kayo sa 10 repetitions. Ang gagawin natin, every week, magdadagdag kayo ng isang repetition. So, kung nasa push-ups kayo, and you're starting with 10 reps, with supported knees, add 1 rep every workout. Pag bumabot na kayo ng 20 repetitions, increase the challenge. Okay? You, you can progress it by doing the regular push-ups. Okay? Sa rows naman, definitely, load lang ilalagay mo. Magdagdag lang kayo ng weight, basta huwag kayong lalagpas na ng mga 10 to 15 repetitions. So, kung nasa 12 reps or 15 reps kayo, you can put more weight and go down to 10. Pero sa pushing, you can go as high as 20 repetitions. And then, elevate. Again, you can do incline para mas meron challenge. Okay? How many sets? 3 to 5 sets lang. After the squats, for 3, to five sets, you will go now to the direct waist exercise. This is the abdominal crunches. Use the ground, use the floor. Dapat lang malinis po. Okay, right. All right. You can put your arms here. O pwede niyo po sa likod ng ulo, the back of your head. So if you choose the back of your head, hold it here. And then crunch up, exhale going up. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. That's it. That's the abdominal branches. After that, what can you do? Stretching a little bit. Alright? You can, you can stretch your chest by just going like this. Stretch a little bit. You can stretch your back by holding to something. And go like this, left. And then you go right. You can stretch your legs by holding it like this. For 10 seconds. Go on the other side. 10 to 12 seconds. It's okay. Alright. Okay, that is my set A. On my next segments, I'll be doing the set B exercises and set C. Alright? And then I will be conducting also some form of aerobic exercise. But the question always comes up to me now. Sir, can we do our cardio for aerobic exercises? Because a while ago, what we natin is anaerobic strength workout. Okay, now you can do your aerobics after your workout, 
with the strength by just doing some side to side movements like this with your feet you know and then you can do some walking at place you can do some jogging in place how many minutes do at least 15 minutes or 10 kung bago ka lang kayo you can progress up to 30 to 40 minutes but it has to be very very slowly okay progress slowly add a little couple of minutes every session okay the maximum duration of cardio is 40 minutes okay when you get stronger from a jogging position like this you can speed it up speed my my favorite form of cardio is doing like a boxer's hop or boxer's dance like this you can see i'm breathing and i will do this for about 25 or 30 minutes as much as 35 minutes sometimes i would add some some jabs And when you wind up, go to again to a slow movement of walking in place. Like this. After your 20 or 30 minutes, do some side to side. And the common question is, sir, how intense should be the, the cardio or aerobic exercise? You should be on a, what would I say, Conversational pace. Take note of the word. Conversational pace. Dapat kaya nung makipagkwentuhan. Okay? If you cannot talk, if you cannot talk and chat, you're going too fast. Which means that you are way past the aerobic zone. Okay? So I do that, the cardio, after my basic strength workout. Alright? So that's it for my workout. And... The rest of the days, what do I do? Not to get bored, but I do a lot of stuff. You can see I have my guitar here. I have my keyboard piano in my bedroom. We have our TV here. I have my gaming consoles. And one of my favorite activities to read. I have my leadership, business books. I have my fictional books here. Or on action and spy thriller. Okay, and uh, I'm always at tune also. At the internet for news okay international locally oh don't get scared this is my shooting rig since i cannot go to the shooting range i will do my dry fire at home and practice my movement for for my target sport i'm also a big practitioner of the japanese uh, sword fighting technique so andito lang siya ginagamit ko rin tong pang cardio okay so if I'm not doing that, I do my dry fire with my pistol, read my books, play music, sing, watch the TV. So this is what I'll be, I'll be doing for the rest of the day, aside from conversing a lot and meditating with my wife. And uh, as for my advice, I would suggest that just look positive, just look at the brighter side of things. I guess this is the best time for us to spend more time with our family, because for the past months and years, we've been spending a lot of time with our career and business. Uh, I think it is a time to reflect, you know, to be more spiritual and then uh, practice as much as we can. All right, so guys, stay tuned for the next segment. God bless you all. This is my segment of Sound Mind in the Sound Body. This is your senior trainer and mentor, Ariel Guzman. Thank you very much. Cool.